On the 5th of August 2010, the National Press Club uh, hosted a debate about sustainable population in Australia. Neither the Minister for Population and Agriculture, Tony Burke, for the Labor Party, nor the Shadow Minister, Scott Morrison, Liberal Party, made any mention of the original inhabitants of Australia before colonisation. Neither politician even bothered to acknowledge the original custodians of the land. Um, they were keen to speak about boat people as if they were not boat people themselves. They spoke about immigration being de determined by market forces. Uh, both politicians forgot the fundamental point that it is Indigenous people who own the land and are the custodians of it. Nor was there a single question from the, pe the press about this omission. Neither the minister nor his shadow showed respect for the land nor any respect or recognition of its people. By contrast, the video below um, is a speech of, by Les Meltzer at the Queensland Parliament um, and it's about the UN Declaration of Rights of Indigenous People. Of course, it's outside the parliament. Um, Les Meltzer, like the rest of us, we've, we form part of the extra-parliamentary opposition. Anyway, Les explains that how the colonial governments from 1788 to 2010 have ignored Indigenous sovereign, sovereign rights. He explains that the Aboriginal flag is a message stick to colonial governments to recognise Indigenous rights to land and its resources. This speech should be sent to schools so that the kids at those schools can learn about the Aboriginal flag and the sovereign rights it stands for. That's Ian Kerr signing off for Bush Telegraph. See you next time. Bye now.